went for a Sailor Moon aesthetic. Wow! The shadows even sparkly and purple, very subtle. So that's one of my favorite animes, by the way. Just saying. <laughs> Welcome back to another video of mine. I'm so happy to finally be sitting down and making a video because it's just been so crazy since it's finals week and I'm kind of nearing towards the end of my semester. So it's just been pretty hard to get videos uploaded and all of that fun stuff, but I wanted to make a video to kind of let you guys in on what I just recently experienced, which is my NSLS induction. So I really wanted to make a video, I guess, like showing you guys my induction ceremony as well as talking about the organization and whether or not you should be skeptical about it or not. Because I know that I was a little bit skeptical when I first joined this organization or I kind of got, I guess you can say, um, notified to be part of this organization. So without further ado, let's get started into this video. Before I also start, I just wanted to give you guys a little update. As you per usual know, I like to kind of give you guys a little bit of an update of what's been happening with me in my life. Basically going to be moving out in the first week of January and I will be taking you guys with me and I will be showing you my moving process. I will be showing you Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I'm going to do so many videos. I'm going to show videos of me decorating my room. I'm going to show videos of a day in the life of me being a student. I'm going to show you guys my campus. I'm so excited to get to show you guys this little journey that I'm going to go on to kind of, I guess, have a new life for myself. So I figured it wouldn't hurt to bring you guys with me. What else is going on? Um... I am probably going to work on some more new music soon. Like I said, everything's just been happening at once. I decided to take five classes this semester, which was probably a mistake, but it's okay because you live and you learn. So just expect some more content. I know I keep telling you guys that, just bear with me. I'm trying the best that I can. I have an ASMR video planned. I'm going to record it today because I'm trying to do that for you guys. So yeah, I just hope you guys enjoy my videos and you want to come along with me and see my life and see what I'm up to. And if you haven't subscribed already, I think you should because I'm the friend that you never thought you needed. I got you when well, nobody else does. So let's just get started with how I got into this organization, how it happened, what the beginning of this, right? So I kind of got an invitation from my university through via email saying hey because of your great academics blah 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 etc etc da 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 a b c d e f g you are being invited into this organization and it's called the national society of leadership and success so me being me i'm not just gonna first handedly go into something without researching it as you all should do right nobody's gonna just go into something without prior research to it. So I would hope that y'all do that. If not, you should probably do that, you know? But, um, so I did some research and it came out pretty legit. You know, it's an actual organization. Um, you just gotta be really careful with these honor societies because a lot of them are scams. A lot of them just take your money and don't really give you much to work with. But this is the first honor society that I've encountered that's actually legit. So um, to give you guys an understanding of what this organization is about, it's kind of like steps and things that you need to do to be a leader. It gives you really great advice, great insight. They have motivational Mondays, have a speaker to kind of give you motivation to do the things that you need to do. I really like that this organization is really involved with a lot of um, their standards when it comes to goal setting, ambition setting, um, mindset. It's, it's very great for people who want to 
own and own a business or be part of a larger organization and have that leadership role and have that understanding of what it is to be a leader to be a speaker to be a team player and this organization really gives you a lot of tools and things that you can use not only just in academics but just in your life in general when it comes to jobs when it comes to relationships anything this is an amazing organization to help you understand what are some things you can do to hold yourself accountable to accomplish these certain goals or accomplish these certain set of things that you had in mind for yourself motivational mondays there's a bunch of different tabs of you know different resources that you can look up they have different speakers that show up on the um they have speaker broadcasts and what that is is that they have different speakers on there just talking about their own journeys of leadership and what they did to I guess you can say level themselves up so it was so cool because I got to see like Bill Gates talking to our organization and talking about his own battles I got to see um, the co-owner or slash owner of Netflix talk about his ways of leadership so it was really really cool they have a bunch of different speakers I saw um, George Bush it was it was pretty cool I guess you can say that this organization is very hands-on um, another thing that they do make you do once you do have okay so I probably should have said this before I even started on my whole spiel but you don't automatically get inducted so you have to do a set of things in order to get inducted so you have to do like three speaker broadcast you have to do SMT meetings which is you have to get with other people that are within the organization and just kind of talk about your set of goals and what are you planning to achieve on them or how you're planning to I guess you can say set out a way to accomplish these things so they make you do a smart method which if you haven't learned what the smart method is it's kind of like an analogy in order to set your goals in a specific manner so it's an organized way to say this is the goal that i want to do this is how i'm going to achieve it this is the time frame and this is the outcome that i'll have if i achieve this goal and you're supposed to meet with your teammates three times and you're going to complete a report they get sent to the main people in the organization and then they either approve it or reject it they mainly never reject it because if they do that th th that sucks <laughs> but um yeah it's a pretty great organization they also have a job bank so i i really think it's worth the investment the only thing is it's a little bit pricey so when you first get invited and keep in mind this isn't just an organization that you can um kind of just willingly get into your school has to kind of invite you and uh kind of give you that opportunity but once you do get that invitation you're gonna be asked to pay 185 dollars i don't know if the prices will go up or down but for me it was 185 dollars and with that time or with that price range you'll not only be paying for the plaque and all the things that you'd get once you're inducted but you're gonna kind of be paying for a lifetime membership and um, honestly it was a little bit pricey it was something that I just had to think about because it was like am I gonna invest my money into this is this is this gonna be part of like is this gonna help me is this really gonna help me <laughs> But um, I think it was an amazing investment on my part, and I think that if you're wondering if this organization is for you, definitely do your research, but for me, I think it's worth it. You get a sticker, you get a pin, you get this really cool shirt, you get this really cool shirt, and on the website you have to say what size you are, so I usually a small in shirts like these. And then once you're finally inducted, you of course get... You get this really awesome plaque with your name and the university that you attend to or college or whatever it is and I think it's pretty nice and you get to hang it up and you get to think of how amazing of a person you are to be able to get into this so <laughs> but I I really thought it was so cool because I've never been part of an honor society and I never thought that I was going to be part of an honor society um, if I'm 
school. Um, I've never been like an amazing student when I was in, I don't know, maybe I'm too being, maybe I'm being too hypercritical on, your, on myself because I am an overachiever, but I never felt like I was an amazing student. And I just, and I feel like once I entered college, that's when I really started to push myself to do better, to do, you know, I don't know what it is. Maybe it was my realization that I need to get it together. <laughs> but when I got into college, I felt like that's when I started to be in a really good mindset of how I studied and what I did to achieve my goals. Um, and I never thought that I would be rewarded like this. I never felt like I was one of those kids that were going to be part of this prestigious honor society or was ever going to get that limelight moment where it's like, oh, I'm actually so smart. So I, I just think it's crazy that this is how my life ended up, that I ended up in an honor society. I don't know. Here's some clips of me at my induction ceremony and pictures. So... orientation via Zoom, learn more about what the National Society of Leadership and Success was all about. We are a leadership development program. We're not one of these honor societies that you pay $95. Matthew Dardano. Dwight Waller. Bethany Waterman. Adriana Wetterburn. <laughs> Allison Wilbur. So that was my induction ceremony. I would be lying to you if I said I didn't, like if I... I kind of expected a little bit more out of it. Um, I was sort of told, not entirely sure if it was a set thing, but I was mentioned that, you know, we may or may not after the ceremony get do a little get together and go out and have lunch and get to really talk to each other, really connect with each other and get to know each other as people. But it was like the day of the ceremony arrived and First of all, can I just say I was late? <laughs> so I don't live anywhere near my university. This is why I'm moving. Da -da -da -da. That's why I'm moving. So I live an hour and an hour and 40 minutes, an hour and a half, somewhere around there from my school. So the day comes and I'm just taking my sweet time to get ready. And then I'm noticing that the time is flying. So I'm putting things on my face. I'm getting my outfit together. I'm doing everything in my power so I'm not late, but I still ended up late. But I ended up going to the school and it doesn't help that my university is so big. So there was no parking. Um, my poor parents had to park all the way outside of the school and had to walk while I was going into the student union building because that's where the ceremony was taking place. And all of these kids were looking at me. Oh my god, can I just tell you guys? These kids were looking at me so weird because I was dressed up so bougie. I was dressed up so extra, so out there, and everybody's just dressed in sweats or like <laughs> just dressed in sweats and t-shirts and just such casual clothing. And they're all like, what does this girl think she is? Me and my little heels being like, <laughs> ah! I love being the center of attention, but there's some times that I feel very anxious and that was one of those times. Um, but overall, I got in there, my parents showed up, you know, it was a good time. I got some cute pictures out of it. Definitely wanted it to be a little bit more um, grand because I felt like I thought we were going to have a dinner. I thought we were going to have a dinner and we were all going to have like a bonding moment. But it was more of like a, hey, y'all, thanks for doing this. All right, catch you on the flip side. 
So I was like, sick. Either than that, I had a wonderful time and it's really cool that I'm part of this honor society. Um, and if I told you guys already, I think I did, they have a job bank on the honor society. So, you know, you get more opportunities for not only scholarships, but you get more opportunities for different jobs um, because there is the, they have their own job bank on there. So you have even more opportunities for work and employment or internships and scholarships. And it also just looks really good on your resume. So I really think it's worth the investment. It doesn't hurt. It's just a one-time fee and you get these privileges for the rest of your life. And you get to use these skills for not only just your academics, which I told you guys, you get to use it for a lot of things. And it just helps you have a better mindset and understanding of what it is that you need to do to get better at being goal-oriented and accomplishing things. But I don't want to go on too much because that was more or less the gist of my video. Um, I just wanted to tell you guys that that's what happened to me and I got inducted so I'm part of the National Society of Leadership and Success and I'm, I'm hyped and it's, it's a good time. It's a good time. Let me know if you guys got inducted into NSLS and what year and what is your favorite part of the organization in my comment box below. I also make music on SoundCloud, so my SoundCloud link will be in the description box and my Instagram if you guys want to follow me and see what I'm up to. But I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!